The next thing we'll do is a little bit more setting up of the scene to get the planets to orbit around the sun a little bit easier than uh, they currently would. So to do that, we're going to click on the first planet, which is this one here. And if I just put the rotate tool on, um, you can see that it wants to rotate on its, its own axis, like that. Which is not really useful because we need it to rotate around the sun. So to do that, we're going to use a little cheat. And the way we're going to do that is to press... In fact, let's get it from the proper menu. I won't use the keyboard shortcut yet. We'll go to Edit and Group. And as soon as I did that, you should notice that the pivot moved from uh, the center of the planet to the center of the sun. And you see now that when I rotate, it wants to go around the, uh, the sun, which is very useful. There it goes. And the reason for that is that when you've got something parented and then you group it, um, the new group takes the center, its pivot position, from the parent which is very, very useful for what we want to do. So what we need to do now is repeat that for the rest of the planets. So click on that one. I'm going to hit Control and G, which is the keyboard shortcut. That one there, Control and G, and the final one, Control and G. So now they all have a pivot at the sun, which is spot on. To double check um, that it's working and to make sure that you, you understand which bits you need to select, we're just going to click on Windows and Outliner. Here it is again. And let's just expand. Oh, oh no, that's a bit big. We're going to expand the sun group. And you can see now it looks a little bit different because we've got these four groups. And each group has got one of the planets in it. And you need to understand how that works. So if I click on this planet here, you can see I've got the planet selected in the outliner and the pivot is back on the planet. But what I actually wanted to select was the group. I click on group two which the planet belongs to, the pivot is now in the sun and it will rotate around the sun. So that's the way to do that. The little kind of cheat way so that you don't have to keep selecting your groups from uh, the outliner is to select on a planet and then if you press the up key on your keyboard, boop, that jumps up one level in your hierarchy and it will then select the group for you. So let's keep that in mind when we get onto animate windows. I'll just close the outliner quickly. Okay, so what we'll do now is get some animation done on this first planet. So I'm going to select it, and then, as I said previously, I'm going to press up on my keyboard, and that's going to take me to group one, and I can now animate with the pivot that is set to the sun, which is exactly what I want. And what I'm going to do is make sure that I'm on frame one, and I'm going to set a key just on the rotate Y attribute. Now I could, if I pressed S, that would key everything, but unless you really need to key all of your channels, it's not a good idea to just press S. It's actually better to just key only the channels you're going to be using. And because these are just going to rotate on one axis, that's the only axis that I want to set any keyframes for. So make sure I'm on frame 1. I'm going to right click, rotate Y, and you can see this menu pops up. And the option I want is key selected. And you can see that's gone red now. It still shows me a keyframe down here, but only rotate Y has got a key set on it. And that's a much cleaner way to work than just setting keyframes on everything if you don't need to. The next thing we'll do is move the playhead to frame 20. And then we're going to up the value of rotate Y. And I'm going to type in 50. You see that's now rotated part way around. And then I'm going to right click on rotate Y and I'm going to do key selected again. And if I just scrub between those two frames... You can see that the animation is in there, but it stops after that. It doesn't go any further, which is exactly what I want to see at this stage. So now I'll repeat that for the next planet. So let's go back to frame one, and I'm going to click on my next planet out. Press up on my keyboard to get to the group. I'm going to key selected on rotate Y to get the first keyframe of my motion set up straight onto frame 20 and this time instead of rotating by 50 units I think I'm going to go by something less because um, I'm not like an astrophysicist or anything but I believe that the further away the planets are from the sun the slower they go around it. I could be wrong and I'm willing to be proven wrong uh, but I'm not really I would actually rather people just told me I was right um, but let's, basically the point I'm trying to make is I'm, I'm using a smaller number 
So, uh, I did 50 last time. Let's go 41. Spot on. And then right click and key selected. Okay, so there we go. So that one's going around, but not quite as quick. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you to do the other two planets. So select a planet, go to the group, set a key on frame 1, move to frame 20, change the rotate Y value, key that. Make sure it gets smaller as you get further out. And then I'll meet you at the next stage to look at how we get those planets to keep going around the sun at the rate that we've set up.